What is going on, everybody? It is Tree from Tree Talks here, and we are here for the AAF Week Finale. It's Friday. It's the sixth video, because I posted two on Wednesday, that we have made about the AAF this week. And no, that does not mean we're going to be stopping making AAF videos. It just means this whole span of this week where we've made only AAF videos, that only was going to happen this week. Now, this video is a little bit more informational and a little bit to more help you guys to find out where you can watch AAF football throughout the season. Now towards the beginning when this league was officially announced, it seems like it was it seemed like it was a pretty big clusterfuck to be honest because he didn't know how you were going to watch it. A lot of people said there was an app that you can watch every single game on it, but there are some bugs to the app, you know, and not a lot of people thought that that app was going to be up and running by the season starting, but there are now more resources to watch AAF football now that we are nine days away from kickoff, and I'm going to tell you about them. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you can watch AAF football's inaugural season. So, first and foremost, you can watch games on the app. However, you can't watch games right now because there are no games going on. Um, it's a smart move by AAF right now, allowing their games to be streamed live on the app for free at least for right now because that opens the door later on for them to say hey do you want to watch your team play you're gonna have to pay for the app or you're just gonna have to wait for them to show up randomly on tv you know what i mean like they're they're being smart about it they're trying to introduce a whole new fan base to a whole new football league and one way to do that is free subscription to an app to watch the game so i mean that's cool. That's awesome. I wouldn't expect that to be around for much longer, um, at least for free. I mean, maybe the first three weeks, <laughs> I would say that it would be free on the app. But um, other than that, I don't think it might be free on the app all season. And then maybe they'll increase the price next season. But with, you know, a developmental league that's coming in this hot and already has all these deals that we're going to dive into in a little bit later. Um, they're probably going to make you pay at some point, whether that be in the season, in the playoffs, the championship game, you know, anything like that. You know, eventually you're probably going to have to pay. But one way to watch it is on the app. The other way is TNT, the TV channel, signed a deal to play one regular season game and one playoff game. That's not per week, that's total. So TNT will be upload will be showing one game this season and one playoff game, and that one game is actually a Stallions game. I can't recall recall who they're playing, but that is uh, TNT's side of the TV deal. Now another one is Bleacher Report Live. Now Bleacher Report Live, I believe, is only going to be holding um, one game let's see um yeah bleach report live will stream one game per week starting on february 23rd so bleach report live will starting february 23rd of course it's all new to me i'm just starting to read it will stream one game per week starting february 3rd now this is cool um Okay, before we dive into the cool part, CBS Sports Network will carry one game per week also, and CBS will host the inaugural game for the AAF and the championship game. So after that, there will be no games on CBS, so they're going to have the inaugural game and the championship game, but other than that, there's not going to be any streaming on CBS. But the cool part is, is that two games per week will be streamed on the NFL network so that is dope this is why the XFL shouldn't even come out like like y'all ain't gonna compete with the NFL and the AAF because now that's what you're signing up for you got to compete with the NFL and the AAF because the AAF has the NFL's blessing and a lot of the executive or former NFL players and they get two games per week on NFL network they get one game per week on CBS sports network and then and they get one game per week on the bleacher report so you know it's that's just the way she goes at this point um <laughs> you know i think the xfl is kind of out of its out of its own league right now i think the aaf and the nfl 
are currently currently going to dominate. So, with that being said, starting February 23rd, Bleacher Report will show one game per week. CBS Sports Network will always show one game per week. And the NFL Network will show two games per week. So that is four total. So there is ways you can watch the game on TV if you don't want to download the app, which I think would be kind of silly, but, you know, whatever. So you can watch them on the app. You can watch them on any of those streaming services. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you watch AAF football's inaugural season. And that was how to watch the AAF's inaugural season. What you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Drew Docs. Follow me on Twitter, at Trevin Pixley. Follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. This is just straight facts. And guys, so much for watching this video. And as always, have a great day.